J.R.R. Tolkien, the man, the legend, the person who wrote the stories from Middle Earth and created a mythology and multiple languages for it, and also his own alphabet, which is very much worth. His stories were the foundation for today's modern fantasy, and he's also one of my favorite novel writers, my favorite writer of all time. Because fantasy is my favorite genre, just really works as well. But even fantasy, just a great genre, has its more unfavorite books. Like one is that I don't like from fantasy, it's called um, Harry Potter. So, today we'll be talking about the differences between the movie, The Hobbit, I mean, between the movies, The Hobbit. And the one novel, The Hobbit. Yeah, three movies, one novel. Also, it will, I will not include anything from Lord of the Rings because Lord of the Rings, unlike The Hobbit, is very similar to the novel. While the only change is that they didn't add an important character called Tom Bombadil because where is he? Where is he jumping and dancing around, singing, don't, don't caring about the world, him, older than anything else. But well, this is one of the major differences in Love the Rings, the movies, against Love the Rings novel. In Hobbit, the very major difference is the story. And today, let's go in. So number one will be... The snow, it is with socks on people. Legolas, notorial in the novel. So Legolas only appears in the Law of the Rings. Toriel appears, I think, in the Hobbit only as in the during the conversation of two gods in the Elven Kingdom. So yeah, sorry man, no Legolas, notorial. Second, there's no Killy and Tori relationship, so, so it was clear. No Tori, so no Killy Tori relationship. There's no relationship between this dwarf and this elven woman. Number three, there's no living age of during the novels. Age was dead. Tori said in the movie that after he cut. Ajax's arm, he later died from his injury. Well, in the movie, Ajax makes like this um, typical villain comeback where he says, Nah, I didn't die. And comes with a cut arm, which has now a cool iron blade in it. While in the novel, it's different. In the novel, he died of injury. So Thorin was right in the novel. Ajax indeed died of an injury where his arm was cut. And during the novel, Instead of Achok doing all those evil things, it's Bulk, his son. Number four, Thorin doesn't die spectacular. We do the sons of his father's daughter, Kili and Philly. Because in the in the movie he has a final battle with Achok, which Kili fights there with Bulk, and Philly is killed to make Thorin angrier. This dramatic scenery in those battles, nearly towards the end of the movie, is typical for movies because movies want to make dramatic moments. And while it looks very good and it's very dramatic and cool in the movie, it doesn't appear in the novel. And in the novel, there is no uh, no dramatic battle. It's just explained after the battle of the five armies, Killian and Philly died during the battle, and Thorin's body was found mortally wounded and while they were trying to um, heal his wounds in the tent he then had a small speech for a Bilbo and then died there and after that all, for all three of them there was a royal funeral where they were buried with precious money and gold and necklaces and just wood. Number five in the movie Bard is coming very early there warned them about the dwarfs angering the dragon and 
knowing about this weak spot while in the novel Bart actually comes very late in the novel Bart only appears when the dragon is already flying from the lonely mountain to the town and the people the town to uh, see the reflection of the dragon's goldy and shining scales that were so because they set on gold for so many years reflected to the water and saw like gold the people run out screaming saying that the legends are true the true king of the mountain has come back to take his throne and now he's filling our rivers and our seas with gold and precious gems while um, Bart was described as the black seer of the um, town the person always reviewed fish poisoning and other catastrophes and always saw bad things and good things he warned them all and screamed that you fools there's no gold in the water there's the dragon coming from above killing us and then he ran off to the mayor to warn him and he gathered the town guards and they with the arrows and bows they went around and tried fighting the dragon and he didn't know about the wound spot he indeed was one of the descendants of those people who could talk to birds and that's very important because he's told about the wound spot by a bird it was the same bird that he dropped on the dwarf and heard how Bilbo told them that he found the wound spot at the dragon because Bilbo when he went inside of the dragon cave he saw that the dragon had this like wound spot somewhere on his chest and the bird told him so he spanned his bow with an arrow and shot it precisely because he was a good bowman also in the novel too in this wound spot of the dragon the dragon died without killing the mayor with him and then novel the mayor's mayor and he was the hero of the town but they were like mm. now let's go there and help the, we go there and do our normal routine and now the point six the nose is long and sharp now and hear me out in the novel dwarfs are described having the attribute of a long sharp nose and in the scene where they in the park where they were in the spider forest and they take my files in some cocoons of spider web in the movie they were completely covered but still survived while in the novel they only survived because the nose were so big that they were sticking out of the cocoon of spider web and so they could breathe while they were still in the web they were conscious so they didn't die and so also because the spiders couldn't suffocate them they wait a bit before killing them so in the illustration by Alan Lee which is also the illustrator that illustrated the novel that I read myself he did a very good great job in the illustration there I show now in the picture on the picture is made by him so you notice their nose are sticking out of the cocoon which I don't see in the movie if I'm wrong correctly so this is one of from my side major changes in the movie towards the actual story from the novel. I can't say very good. I, I prefer the novel myself, but some people may think otherwise. I just recommend you to watch the movie if you like, or even read the novel if you are a reader type. If I did something wrong, I said some uh, wrong thing, or you can have have more ideas of things that are wrong because I didn't list all of them for sure. And please write in the comments so I can learn by myself more. Also like if you like the video and subscribe if you want to see more. And then peace out, fella.